channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be using these Artiza. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be using these Artiza markers. Um, I haven't used these in a while. All I'm going to be doing is filling up a sketchbook spread with these markers. So yeah, just opening these up. This is what the markers are looking like. They come in this pretty cool case. Extra room for more markers. Fancy. I wish, is there a way I can, oh, oh, there is. I can literally just sit it on my table just like that. Look at that. It sits really well on here. Oh, you just pull it out. Okay, it, it takes a while to get out. But then putting it back in is going to be the problem. Well, at least there's this feature. I'm also just going to be using my um, Danique sketchbook. I am almost done with this. Ah, just, just, just this much. Almost done, almost done. I have this picture, one of those Instagram posts that's like draw this in your style. I've had this on my phone for so long, I just keep forgetting to do it. So we're gonna do that today. So let's do that, let's get started, let's just, let's just draw. I'm just getting her little face in. I really just like the hair. I just want to draw her hair so bad. I'm gonna try and do another hair tutorial just because I didn't really like the first one very much. So I'll be posting an updated one soon. She has these little parts that go into like little buns and I was just like, ah, that's so cute. Such a cute hairstyle. Whenever the camera's on me, I just want to draw really fast. Come on, slow it down. It'll help <laughs> a lot. Now's the fun part, besides the sketching. You see this one, peach, peach seems to be a good color. Oh, this one says pale peach. It's kind of like coming off a little bit. So here it says pale peach and this one's just peach. Pale peach and peach, that's what they look like together. Let's see if I can find a lighter purple color. I have to like a shade with that. Usually I like to put down a flat base and then move to like a blush color. This marker feels like it's almost dried though. I haven't used it that much though for it to be dried. Huh. We move on to our next shade, which is this peach color like that to make it look 3D. So it's not just like flat. And now will probably be the best time to do like a blush if I'm going to do a blush, which I am. That is a bright blush. Okay, I picked up the wrong marker. Instead of picking this up, I went ahead and picked the really neon looking color. Oh man, what to do? Okay, it's not too bad. Now to make the shadows look like shadows, I usually go in with like a purple color or a blue color darken it up like that. I don't put it too much on the face just because I don't want the face to look too dark. I'm just gonna shade in her eyes with this purple color. It's just because it's light enough. Now I'm gonna move on to her hair. I'm just gonna color in the whole hair. I'm just gonna color in her eyebrows dark. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out what to shade with the hair because I don't have a darker pink color. All of these are pretty like really bright like neon colors okay I guess I'm gonna shade with this even though 
it's pretty bright compared they're just so different from each other. I don't have anything else to shade with, so I'm just going to use these two. I'll just blend the devil out of it. <laughs> All right, I guess this isn't too bad. Shading definitely took a turn. All right, her lips are looking a little dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in her lips again. All right, now her lips look a lot better. I was kind of hoping for like a lighter brown so I can like add on to that, but nope. It's pretty dark brown. Hey, this could have been a lighter brown. Shucks. I kind of like how these colors kind of lift. Like I'm adding in a blue to her eye right now and it's lifting up pretty well. Do you guys see that? Snazzy, this is fun. Look at that. That lifted up pretty quickly. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is move on to her outfit. Ah, her necklace is kind of like blending into her skin. All right, now it's kind of standing out. Ah, the color is lifting so much. So if you put a lighter color on top of this, it just lifts up the color. It just brings up the white of the paper. That's a little bit of a problem. It wasn't a problem up here, but now it's just like, chill buddy, chill. I think that's all I want to do with this drawer. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that here. Just gonna, the little shines here and there. There we go. A little bit here. Alright, so now what I want to do is just draw a whole bunch of characters here. Okay, so now we start coloring. I went ahead and I gave her some dreads and then picked out her little outfit and then inked it. Oof, her hands are so messed up. <laughs> I'm gonna make her eyes pink. gonna leave that here I'll fix it up with a bit of my liners <laughs> I don't know what's going on here but we'll leave it for now and now I'm gonna move on to her just do her skin lighter I guess these are pretty much the only colors I have here not much to choose from when it comes to skin tone the marker is all out what I honestly haven't used this marker enough for it to be all out like this Seems to be coming out of this end fine, but not so much on the broad end. Then move on to another marker. I just used my little brush pen to like make the lines thicker since I didn't really do that much shading on these two drawings. The little highlights. All 
All right, that's it. So now I'm just gonna clean up and then I'll be right back. So that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked the video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, thanks for watching.